Hello, it's Dario. Welcome back to my fabulous kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a really quick and easy but tasty pesto sauce. You can make it for things like rockets and sun-dried tomatoes. However, the pesto sauce I'm going to make with you today is with basil. Here is my humble basil plant. Ah, it might be humble, but the health benefits are never-ending in this beautiful aromatic herb. You may think that's just silly from a plant that is green and smells nice. The basil plant is packed full of vitamin A and K and beta carotena, which all promotes healthy skin and hair. It is packed full of zeaxanthin. This powerful antioxidant supports eye health and crystal clear vision. It is also packed full of minerals, high in magnesium, potassium and iron. The fragrant basil plant is also great for aiding digestion. We wouldn't all think this just from a simple green leafy plant. Ah, oh, what a gorgeous plant. It's my new best friend. No, it's not. It's just a basil plant. I think I've said basil plant a bit too much. So I hope if you've learned anything, it is that the basil plant has an array of health benefits. So let's get on and make our basil pesto sauce. It really is quick and simple. So watch and learn. To make your pesto sauce, you can use a food processor, or in my case, I like to use my Nutribullet. If you have a Nutribullet, this is great because it's really versatile. Use the one with a single blade, and this will actually work in the same way as a food processor, just to chop and blend the ingredients. So, what do we need to make our sauce? One large clove of garlic. Four handfuls of freshly picked basil. A handful of pine nuts. This is far too many pine nuts, but I'm showing you because I want you to see. I like to gently toast mine just to give them a bit of extra flavour. Extra virgin olive oil, two handfuls of freshly grated parmesan, and some salt and pepper. First blend the basil and garlic together. Then add your toasted pine nuts and four tablespoons of olive oil. Blend together again. This is where you can also add your salt and pepper. Add approximately another four tablespoons of olive oil. Then you add your grated Parmesan cheese. You need, as a general rule, to have the olive oil coming over the top of all your ingredients. So this may mean adding a lot more olive oil than I've mentioned. This is keeping it preserved and locking all those flavours and aromas that you want from the basil to give your dish that beautiful vibrancy of flavour. So there we have it, a quick, easy, simple basil pesto sauce that can be added to any dish from pasta to protein. Give it a go, you'll love it. It's really easy and you can't go wrong with this recipe. Did you know I love to cook? If you didn't know, now you know. It is the passion which drives me through life. Now don't just watch, go and make. The full recipe and nutritional benefits are listed below this video. Thank you all for watching. Please comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. This is the Dario way. Thank you.